Hi guys, Martha here, Vintage Conversation. Welcome back to my channel. Taking a little break from cleaning up the studio over there, <laughs> which you will see um, video from that later in the week, maybe next week. Depends upon when I get it finished. <laughs> oh, that could be a while. Maybe I'll just give you an update later in the week. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And <laughs> Uh, may I ask you to please subscribe if you're not already and hit that like button because I think you'll like the video I hope so and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we drop new videos we go live or we just need to update you on some information I'm Martha I put out videos on usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I do a live chat with my friend Tammy over on her channel and if you will keep an eye on my community tab you will see where and when on that also do a live sale with her on her channel on Wednesdays and that will also be on my community channel community page that's it on my community page and also notices will go up on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram why not why not if you're not on Instagram on Instagram you should be you get a lot of good notifications there so anyway I have been promising my friends a jewelry haul for quite a while because I've got like uh, what? This is a box. This is not all of it. This is one small box. I've got, where did I put them? I think they're over there in a box. I've got little brown lunch sacks full of jewelry stuffed everywhere. I know some people who do auctions that have mostly jewelry. Very sweet guys. And so I buy a lot of jewelry from them. I'm a jewelry sucker. But before we get started looking at the jewelry, I want to show you a couple of pieces that I got recently from Angela's Jewelry Jump. Jewelry Jump? I would like to show you a couple of pieces that I got from Angela's Jewelry Jump that she did on YouTube with several of the resellers in the community. And these two pieces I bought from Margot Vintage Peep Show A Go Go during her sale time. They're bracelets. Um, I got two of them as I said. This one is Malak Malachite. Malachite, yeah. I, I love green. Green's my favorite color. So I got this one from her. It is, yeah, it looks like pretty much the color that you're seeing. I don't have big lights. I'm just, I just have my overhead lights on where I do this at right here. So pretty little Malachite bracelet. And then the other one is a turquoise bracelet. Isn't that nice? Lots of big sounds. I, when I was growing up, turquoise was what I always wore. First um, diamond I ever got was from my husband. It was on a necklace when we got engaged. Uh, I didn't really want an engagement ring because, like I said, I always wore turquoise. So he bought me a diamond necklace for our engagement. And then he handmade a band for me when we got married. It wasn't until we'd been our, like our fifth anniversary that I got a traditional diamond wedding set. And then he used to buy me, I think I have one, two, I have three or four at least wedding sets because on big anniversaries, five, 10, 15, that kind of thing, <coughs> excuse me, he would buy me new wedding sets bigger than the last ones. But you've met G. He's a sweetheart. <clears throat> Pardon me, I've got, a, I've got a frog in my throat. Wait, I've got a Sprite here. Pardon if I don't pull everything off. I accidentally bought... Well, I, I did accidentally buy minis. I bought the minis because they're a good size. But I accidentally bought regular Sprite and not the Sprite Zero. Sprite Zero is what I drink. I, I like it better. But I drink Sprite because I... I try to be caffeine free as much as possible. Maybe that will help. My allergies have been so bad. I've heard a lot of people complaining about allergies. So anyway, on with the show. This first piece is a, is a vintage Nordstrom piece. It is a faux pearl and amethyst crystal on a lavender beading. It is a 15 inch piece, but 
isn't that pretty? Look at the facets on these, on the amethyst sparkle. That's a doozy. That's a doozy. This, this necklace can uh, take a lot of pressure, if you know what I mean. It's like they always say, oh, that's a lot of weight to put on something when you're having it be your source of but this. This is a statement piece. You don't need anything else with it. It's going to fit closer to the throat and is a bib style. I think it's lovely. Nordstrom always put out nice jewelry. So, we have that one. And, I'll, you know, several of these pieces, including this one. Oh, dropped my board. And that's the board that I couldn't find the last time we talked about doing jewelry. Many of these pieces that you will see will probably be featured on when Angela has her next jewelry jump. She has said that I may participate. I've been granted permission, given an invitation, which I'm very appreciative of and excited to do. This next piece is a Hollywood Regency style. It's a, um, you know, an old Hollywood glamour style necklace. And it is amber and gold tone those caged barrel beads. I don't know if they qualify as beads because they're metal. They're not plastic. They are metal. But that the amber is just beautiful on that. And it is in graduated sizes, graduated spears. Spears? Spheres. They're round. <laughs> and as you can see, it's pretty long. Let me look at my paper. 28 inches. This necklace measures 28 inches, so you get a full view on it. Not trying to sell it to you, just showing it to you, okay? Uh, I am a sucker for pearls. I love pearls. And they have a, a sterling silver clasp. Look at that. I love the mismatched shape of freshwater pearls. Now, what you, they do is, you know, they get similar sizes, but freshwater pearls are often not, you know, look, see, kind of flat, kind of round. They're very organic. 16 inches. Love this type of pearl. Okay. This particular necklace, I am going to sell on one of my Midnight Margarita shows. So if you are not set up for notifications, you're going to miss out when we have one of those. I think we're going to have one. I got to talk to Tammy to, sorry, I'm, I'm working on this. I'm, I'm just not following me around here. I'm trying to get it to be the right length on this board for you. All right. Well, if everybody would just, everybody would just do what they're supposed to do here, we would all be a lot happier, wouldn't we? Okay. As I said, this piece will probably be offered on Midnight Margaritas. That's on my channel. It's, usually, it's a, on a Saturday night, generally. We just started them. New show. Fun. I do it with Tammy from Vintage Uprising Texas and Margot from Vintage Peep Show A Go-Go. Probably about the 22nd will be our next show so you know just stay tuned for that we uh, have some wild and madcap adventures <laughs> check this out look at this cheeky little squirrel isn't that just awesome it is a vintage sculpted brass squirrel with nuts he's got, he's got a nut dangling down there and he's eating his nut <laughs> sitting up in that tree. I've never seen anything like this. Isn't that just fabulous? All right, that is so totally different. It's so cute. It, I mean, there it's got great detail on it. Very texturally 
accurate on the tree and, and on the squirrel. It's nice. He measures 26 inches, so he's he's got plenty of length on him. You see, I've got him all wound up on the pegs here to make him hang right. Let's see. If we undid him, he'd be hanging off the bottom of the board. So I just thought he was so, so unique that I had to have him. And I, I didn't think there was any markings on the back. I guess there could be something hidden in some of this finer detail that you can see from the other side. But it's not readily apparent to me. So, And then we have, I bought, got a couple of brooches with this. And this, this is an Amco maple leaf. It's an enamel pen and it is marked sterling and amco and look at that look at the colors on that enameling isn't that lovely good veining nice silver veining and on the back at the very bottom it's marked with its Right there in that oval, it says Sterling Amco. So, might be of special interest to any of my Canadian viewers or just people who take an interest in nature and, and that sort of thing. Red, yellow, green, gold. Beautiful, just beautiful. And this last brooch that I have that I got in this lot is described as um, sterling, vintage sterling and brass. It's a brutalist style, mid-century modern brooch. That looks kind of like a smile, doesn't it? But then it's got the... Uh, the movement there at the bottom it's it's, it's almost like um, twigs or limbs like perhaps it's it's a mountain in the the background and this is a tree branch in the foreground I don't know it is unmarked So the base is the, the brass, and then it has some uh, silver accents on it. So that was what I got from that little lot there. So I've got to work on my ability to not say so. Anyway that's all from this little lot it wasn't very many pieces it wasn't large i mean in this box is more necklaces and then in this box is a bag of jewelry so we'll do this bag next time and we'll do the rest of what's in the box and maybe a couple other pieces and we'll just do some jewelry hauls uh leading up to um the next jewelry jump and I will also probably put a couple of pieces when Patrick does his uh, drop sale hop on the 16th I believe it is I don't have my calendar in front of me but I believe it's the 16th of April that Patrick from Trusty Huckster Mercantile will be doing his drop sale and I'm going to participate in that as well so I'll try to put a couple of pieces of jewelry in there like I did the last time when um, I participated with Beth. So thank you all for, for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm told that the uh, comments really help. Um, it has something to do with how they rate your videos and how they get suggested to other people when they're watching other videos like this. So I would appreciate if you do that. And I'm gonna go back to work over there oh my gosh it's a mess it's a thing it's a thing so bye y'all appreciate you stopping by later